Hello, you absolute legends. There are four primary intermolecular forces that we discuss in Gen Chem. When you are asked about a molecule to predict its melting or boiling point, you start the analysis with the strongest intermolecular force and work your way down until you get a winner and then you stop. In previous videos, we've discussed how to identify if an ionic bond can occur, or if a hydrogen bond can occur, or if a dipole-dipole interaction can occur. Now, a dispersion force is the weakest intermolecular force that, can, that we discuss, and it's really the uh, pit or last ditch answer, because if it fails every other test, it'll have dispersion force as its, as its primary intermolecular force. For example, here is boring old propane. You uh, get propane for your propane tanks. Propane is a three carbon hydrocarbon. There are hydrogens present that are bound to these carbon atoms right here, and I don't have them on there just for clarity. If we look at those previous videos or if we recall from previous videos, ionic bonds would not occur because this doesn't have a positive and a negative side. Hydrogen bonds cannot occur because there's not a hydrogen that's bound to nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, and there are no lone pairs. Dipole-dipole couldn't occur because there are no lone pairs on this molecule at all. So our last ditch effort is dispersion. Boring old protein, propane is going to have dispersion forces as its inter primary intermolecular force. So when these propane molecules interact with each other, in solid, liquid, or gas phase, the interaction is going to be very weak and very fleeting. We would not expect them to get terribly close to each other or to stay in an orientation for a long time. We would expect them almost to come past each other um, and then move as if the other one is not even, as if no one is present in the solution or gas or solid phase. I hope this helps. Thank you.